monkeys around. One sunny morning, a boom of monkeys swung through the marketplace of Agrabah. His friends Aladdin, the genie, Jasmine, and Raja strolled slowly along the street below him. All was calm and quiet. Too quiet! Abu, who loved nothing more than making mischief, looked around, his gaze landing on a stand overflowing with ripe bananas. That gave him an idea. The little monkey swung over to the stand and snatched up a banana. He tore it open, shoved the fruit into his mouth, and then dropped the peel on the ground. Abu grabbed another banana and did the same thing, and then another and another. Soon the street was covered in banana peels. Then Abu started jumping up and down and screeching loudly, waving his hands in the air. He tried to get his friend's attention. <sighs> Aladdin, Jasmine, Raja, and Jeannie hurried over to the little monkey. They were so focused on reaching a booth that they didn't see the banana peels. They slipped and slid until they landed on a heap of the ground. Abu chattered happily to himself and laughed at his friends. Then looked so silly tripping over the banana peels. But his friends were not laughing with him. Bad Abu, Aladdin said, helping Jasmine up. We could have really gotten hurt. That's not nice, Abu. Ooh, they're having a picnic. Abu hung his head and followed his friends back to the palace. He watched as they carefully laid out the food they had bought at the market. Soon, everyone was enjoying a nice snack in the courtyard. Everyone but Abu. The little monkey eyed the fountain. The water looked nice and cool, and it was awfully hot out. Abu grinned. He had another idea. Abu waited until everyone was done eating. He watched as his friend sat down on the edge of the fountain for a rest. Then, splash! Abu did a big cannonball right into the water. Abu's friends jumped up, drenched by the cold water. The genie was so startled that he fell backward right into the fountain. Raja growled at the little monkey. The tiger did not like being wet. Abu giggled. He was pleased with his mischief, but his friends did not find it as funny. Bad Abu, Jasmine said. It's not nice to splash. Wringing out her hair, Jasmine went inside to dry off. The rest of her friends followed. That night, as the moon rose high over Agrabah, Abu crept through the palace. He was walking past Jasmine's room when he heard a loud noise. It was Raja. The tiger was snoring. Abu grinned. With everyone asleep, the palace was far too quiet. Luckily, he just knew how to fix that. Abu scurried to his collection of treasures and grabbed a wooden mallet. He dragged it into the hallway and hit it against every door he passed. Finally, Abu reached the throne room. The genie's lamp was resting on a pillow. Abu lifted the wooden mount over the lamp and... Bang! Abu hit the mallet against the lamp. The genie rose out of his lamps in a plume of curling blue smoke. What? I'm here. My wish is your command. I mean your wish. Genie shook his head, confused. Then he noticed Abu laughing. Bad Abu, he said. Don't you know genies need their beauty sleep? <sighs> Woke up the genie. Just then, a very groggy Raja came into the room. He was followed by a yawning Aladdin and a sleepy-looking Jasmine. Abu, buddy, you've been monkeying around all day, Aladdin said. Aren't you tired? It's bedtime, Abu, Jasmine said sweetly. Raja nodded and groaned. Come on, pal, 
How about some rest? The genie said. But Abu didn't answer. Abu? Aladdin asked, looking for his friend. Where is Abu? Um, Aladdin? Jasmine said, pointing across the room. Aladdin followed her gaze. Abu had curled up on the genie's pillow and fallen fast asleep. The genie grabbed a blanket and laid it over the monkey. Good Abu, he said. And with that, the friends crept out of the room to let Abu get some sleep. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!